Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I am out for a walk on Stoke Common, which is just outside London. It's a lovely, vast common land. Um, it's run by the City of London, although it's actually in Buckinghamshire. It's a very, um, quite different to anywhere really I've been. It's, it's completely flat. Um, it's a lovely place to come for a walk on a winter's day. There are some cattle grazing here, although I haven't actually seen any today. It's um, a really interesting, strange landscape. Have a look here, it's all waterlogged on that side. Completely waterlogged, yet the other side is, um, well, it's still waterlogged, but it's prone to fires. There's lots of heather here, which in the summer it gets very dry. You've got gorse and bracken. It all gets dry and um, it's prone to fires. So. It's very wet at this time of year, but it can be the complete opposite in the summer. So as we come to this crossroads here, I'm going to take you this way. And we're going to head for the woods up there. Because what happens up there... Oh, it's a nice bench. Up there, um, the woods, there's a footpath across the road. And there's um, a rather large abandoned mansion called the Pickeridge. So we're going to go and have a look at that because the footpath runs right through the grounds. So what we're going to do, we're going to follow on up this rather waterlogged path. Look how waterlogged here. That, this isn't supposed to be a lake. This is only, you know, less than a foot deep. It's just waterlogged land. But I'm going to carry on up the track and um, let's go and explore this abandoned mansion in the woods. So I've just come across the road, the commons over there, as you can see, found a bridleway, which takes us along here. Another very waterlogged section of woodland. Now, we're heading in this direction. I'm just going to show you a couple of things. This fence, that is to protect a landfill site, because um, what happened was people were going there on motorbikes and riding around the top of it. So that's not a fence around where we're going to. And I don't really have any interest in going in there. But if we walk on this side, where there is no fence, into the woods, we find um, a rather spooky little cottage. This is like um, a groundsman or gardener's cottage or a gatehouse. As you can see, there's a bit of a hoarding around it. There's no tiles on the roof. What we'll do, we'll have a look in this first, and then we'll continue on down the footpath to find this abandoned mansion. So, oh look, there's... Um, Here's the cottage. You can see uh, how the ceilings have fallen in. It's really in quite a bad state. It's a shame, really, because it probably was a nice house once. Um, let's have a look. So, uh, yeah, look, that room there is it's completely fallen in. Let's have a look in this room. There was a fireplace there once. I'm not sure if it had an upstairs or not. Um, I'll probably be able to work out soon by looking around a bit further. If I can get into this room here. This must have been, whether this was the lounge or the fort, got a bay window. Um, if I can get through here. And then we come to here. Another fireplace. Now we go through here. That's that room I said about where the um, ceiling had fallen in. You can just see that box there, that would have been the water tank. That was probably their toilet, going by where there was plumbing work. And maybe this was a bedroom, so it doesn't look like it had an upstairs. It looks like it was just a one bedroom bungalow, or two bedrooms actually if you count that. Um, but then that might have been a kitchen, I'm not sure. So um, yeah, very small, but it has still been a nice little place. Somebody would have lived here once. Um, I'm going to go through, get out, and we'll follow the footpath on, um, which will take us. So if we come to here, we come out the front door. Um, that's the front door. It's got a nice little corner porch there. Come through here and um, get to here. You can see I'm back on the road again. So um, that's the footpath just down there. That will go back onto Stoke Common. So what I'm going to do now, let you see the house from the outside, what you can see of it. I'm going to retrace my footsteps and go 
down the footpath, we're going to go and find the Pickerings, and that's what I'm excited about. It is a big, big Victorian mansion in the woods. It's abandoned, but the footpath just happens to go that way. So let's go and find the Pickerings. I've just come along from the gardener's cottage. Um, as I said, this palisade fence, that's protecting the landfill site. Um, it's, we're following the footpath, which takes us through here and um, into what appears to be an abandoned farmyard. Oh, and there, that is the Pickeridge, which um, we've come to have a look at. So it takes us through into this abandoned farmyard, and then we'll go and um, the footpath kind of goes right through the middle like this. But um, as there is literally no fence between us and the house, um, let's go and have a little nose, have a look round. People have, you know, I've come up in the summer, there's been children playing here. Um, you know, it, I've, I've seen bird watchers come here because it um, can be a nice quiet place to watch birds. I've even seen artists, you know, come up here and sketch the building. So it's, um, you know... It's, well, a big abandoned house. First glance, it kind of half reminds me a bit of 40 Towers to look at, um, which was filmed not so far away from here, but it wasn't actually filmed here. There's an abandoned lorry just over there. Now here, here is the front of the house. So, um, should we go in, have a look? The one thing I didn't do, I should have brought a torch with me. So, as we go in, this would have been the Grand Hall. You can see where the stairs would have gone up. I can hear a lot of birds. It sounds, I can hear strange noises. I think it is just birds nesting in the roof. So you can see where the stairs would have gone up. Now, if you look here, you can see there'd have been like um, a big glass window to let the light shine down. All of that's gone and um, it's all open to the elements. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to this house. It's been abandoned, from what I understand, it's been abandoned since about 1998. It was used um, as offices. That's interesting. Someone has put on the window, I don't know how well you can see it, I don't really want to go across there, but some like cobwebs and spiders. So someone must have done that at Halloween. That wasn't there last time I came up here. Um, what we'll do, we'll go... <laughs> See, there's all these pigeons, they, they make me, made me jump, but I frightened them. Here's another rather big room. It's actually not too bad, I was thinking it was pitch black in here, but um, you can see someone, the floor's a bit dodgy in places, and there is a cellar below here, so I do have to be quite careful where I walk. Right, let's go through, now that is literally pitch black through there. Um, what I think I'll do, I'll just see if there's another way around to there. Um, if I had a torch in my hand, which I really wish I'd bought, I might have tried going through there holding the camera, but holding the camera and going through there might be difficult. What I'm trying to do is see if we can get upstairs, because there was a way of going upstairs. Mm -hmm. That room there. See, that, that's what I imagined every room was going to be like, completely pitch black like that. Right, this, the floor looks a bit safer. Um, there's another big room there, um, okay, and then get to here, I know you can't see a great deal of what I'm showing you, so we've got another big room out the back, um, and then I'm just trying to find my way, I don't know if you can see much down this corridor, but if I can get to the end of this corridor, there was another set of stairs along the back there, oh, the floor's a bit better now. That's where we were a moment ago, where I didn't want to come across, but it actually looked like it probably was easier than where I did come across. Ah, oh, now here we are, this is the stairs. Have a look at this. Um, it's not the easiest of stairs to go up. Bear in mind, stairs to the last bit are here. Let's just have a climb over. So, and there go the pigeons. I'm going to have to try and climb up there somehow, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and make my way upstairs, and then if I do get upstairs, I'll show you around up there. OK, 
okay, well, I've come halfway up the stairs. Looking at those wooden posts, um, they are really, really slippery with all the bird's poo. Um, so, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm, I'm not going to try and go any further. I have once, um, when I came here once before, I did manage to go up there, but I'm, I'm not going to do it today. So what I'm going to do, we'll go outside and um, we'll just have a look around the site outside. But have a look, this is the rather broken staircase, which I've managed to find my way halfway up. So let's get, let's get outside and have a look around the grounds a bit. I'm back down in the hallway, so that was, as I said before, the main staircase. I just noticed, um, see the old wooden panelling they've got, obviously quite heavily graffitied, but I quite like these, these features. And um, if we just go back into this room here, you can see the whole room pretty much um, has got this wooden panelling, but as you can see it's all been graffitied over. So what we'll do now, we'll go and have a look around the grounds. Um, so like I said, I don't know too much about this place other than, well, it's the obvious things. It's a country house, uh, Victorian. Oh, look at that. I can just see down into the cellar. It's quite deep going in there. Couldn't find any obvious way down to the cellar, so I'm going to come out here. This isn't the front door. That's the front door. Oh yeah, look, look at these columns. Um, they're only made of fiberglass. And see how they've broken and um, collapsed, really. They are just a, a metal column so yeah it was um been abandoned since about 1998 obviously was a country house once it's been quite a nice country house that's interesting there's another drive going off up there so whether that was the original drive where this um i don't know how on earth this lorry got here but um yeah so you can see it's really been trashed this place which is a shame um i just like to come and sort of see these places for what they are um but have a look at that it, um i wouldn't go as far as saying it's beyond saving but i'd say it needs a lot of work um you know to make it usable again the other thing is it's quite remote it's a bit you know far from anywhere it's not really near any big towns but you know would have been a really nice house i wonder if that was an extension because that sort of doesn't fit in with the rest of the building so I would guess they probably built that on later but not 100% sure on that one so we come round the back oh, that's interesting maybe that's how you get into the um, into the cellars never been down this side before oh that no there's no door but that looks like that was the boiler room and it looks like there were some buildings here that have actually been demolished um, not just with people messing about but you know properly demolished ruins of walls but yeah I assume that was the boiler room let's um sign our way around here we'll go and have a look at the farm um first and then we'll we'll continue on down the footpath so there's the farm over there there's someone else over there it's probably just a bird watcher um I've come up here a few times over the years and I've always have seen other people about so I kind of um I don't feel scared coming here. You may have seen I did a video once before and I called it something sinister in Denham Marsh Wood and that was just a footpath for a woodland. But I always felt a bit kind of something a bit odd about that place but I don't feel it here. I just feel quite um, content and safe when I'm wandering around here. So we come down here. There's no mistake in the main Pickeridge house in its white rendered house behind us. But here, look at this. There's a very ruined, um, a bit like the gardener's cottage, but this one had an upstairs, a very sort of ruined house. I wonder if I can get into it. Let's have a look. Uh, the bushes are objecting. I've got a vine all caught up in me, so if I can get that off, and um, we, yeah, there we go, got it off, and we're now in here. This is a weird place. So, I'm in a very, very derelict building. That looks like that was the stairs. I'll go through here though. Yeah, that's the understairs covered. I know you can't see. Let's go into. Oh, this is better. This is, um, yeah. Room and table. Someone's had a subway here recently. So, where's that? That's taken me out the back. And uh, I'm now in the farm. So, perhaps that was the farmer's cottage, maybe. And then here, whether that's more farm cottages. And then there's some more barns. 
This is the footpath that runs right through the middle of the site, the footpath. As you can see, it runs across here. We came up there. Uh, whether we can go in here, I'm not sure, but we'll have a look, see what we can see. So, um, it's been quite an exciting afternoon, really. I don't do a lot of um, looking around derelict places, but when you've got a footpath that literally runs right through the middle of the site, I thought, why not? Um, anyway, there's the Pickeridge again. Let's go across here, across here. And, yeah, this is definitely a farm, a derelict farm building. Let's go um, round. There's no cars or anything like that on site. Sometimes you just find footpaths that run for abandoned farms and there'll be a car. This is all concrete, this, but it's a sloping floor. Maybe if they kept... Um, well, I'm not sure. I would guess it's when they washed the floor for all the water to run out. If we come out the back here, it's, it's in quite a state on this side. Bits of rubble everywhere. Look at the state of that. So let's, um, let's just continue around here, then we'll pick up the footpath. And uh, that'll probably be the end of this explore. I don't know if we can get into those buildings there. Um, whether there's any floor in them, there's clearly no ceiling or roof on them. Um, so, yeah, not sure about those ones. Let's just, uh, what I think I'll do now, I'm just going to follow the footpath out, out the site. So, yeah, it's been, like I said, I've had quite a fun afternoon looking around here. I'm just trying to think back to its um, glory days of when it was a Victorian house with a farm attached. It probably had, you know, very attractive gardens out over there. Yeah, it was probably owned by a fairly rich family. It's not like a massive stately home, but it's, you know, it'd have been a rich family who would have lived here. So, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a shame really it's ended up like this. So uh, I think I'm going to leave the site now and uh, continue on with my walk down the public footpath. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. And um, with one final view of the Pickering, thank you very much for watching.